So, you just started playing Tower Defense X. What towers should you buy first? I made this video a long time ago, but it is very clearly outdated. I mean, Laser Gunner and Sniper as first picks? Nah, no. The meta has changed a lot since then, so let's update this list on what you should buy first. The first towers you will probably want to aim for are the Operator, Barracks, and John. Operator is just a generally good tower to have for the early game to mid game, and sometimes even late game it can help. Barracks are just such an OP and easy to use tower for their price tag, and even pros will use it from time to time just showing how good barracks are. John is a bit more expensive, but he is also just super good for bullet piercing, crowd control on the bottom path, cost efficiency, and the rage ability on the top path. You can also grab the shotgunner to help out with crowd control in early game if you want to, because I mean, 450 coins is really cheap. And grabbing the missile trooper wouldn't be a horrible idea either if you're struggling with crowds and stuff, but the next thing you probably want to aim for after those main three is the sentry. The sentry can rebuild itself, being very useful for boss fights, it has good stats and good bullet piercing as well, so as long as you know how to make use of the short range it has with this cone thing, then it can be super good, especially on maps like Survival 202. Speaking of which, if you like doing water maps a lot, Patrol Boat isn't a bad choice to pick up either, but like Missile Trooper and Shotgunner, it's more optional. So now you have Sentry, Barracks, John, Operator, and these other towers. What's next? If you play in multiplayer often, buying the farm would help you out in getting the money that you need in some game mode, but if you usually play solo, you probably don't need to grab the farm until you get more expensive towers. To be honest, by this point, you should have what you need to start saving for either Juggernaut or Railgunner. The two of them serve somewhat different roles, but they are both pretty equally priced and pretty equally good as well. So you can make the choice here on what you want to buy. After getting Juggernaut or Railgunner, I would now recommend that you save for XWM turret. The only problem is that there is a level lock of 60 on it, so if you end up getting the about 30,000 gold you need for this tower, but you just aren't high enough level for XWM turret yet, then some towers you could try getting are EDJ and Toxic Nader on the side, and if you really have a lot of leftover cash, I would honestly just start saving it for some other useful stuff like Medic and Slammer. So, anyways, if you're new to TDX, that's how you should probably start your journey. And if you are able to, you can also try to get some of the towers that are currently in the Halloween Battle Pass, but those are pretty grindy, so it might not be the most realistic thing to do. Hope this video helped you guys out. Peace out, guys. Have a good day.